New tonight, troubling news today from a new report released by a state task force. The North Carolina Child Fatality Task Force found firearm death rates for kids have dramatically increased. The state saw an increase of 231% between 2012 and 2021. And when it comes to homicides, 93% of homicides of kids four and older have involved a gun. WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson joins us live outside of Uptown with a breakdown of these numbers. Lexi. Gun violence is becoming a big problem for kids. Advocates say that most of these deaths are preventable, but it's all about making sure that guns don't fall into the wrong hands. Guns, one of the leading causes of death for children. It's a growing public health issue that people are working to fix. This should be a call to action to everybody in our community. From 2012 to 2021, over 600 North Carolina children were killed by a gun. According to the CDC, a 2021 student survey showed 30% of North Carolina high school students reported it would take them less than an hour to get and be ready to fire a loaded gun without a parent or adult's permission. It's something Mark Rayleigh with Mothers of Murdered Offspring has seen too often. Looking for power, looking for attention, looking for, you know, to be the big guy who has the gun or I know about a gun or I've carried a gun or I shot a gun and those things and not thinking before they react what that gun can do. The North Carolina Child Fatality Task Force now looking to drive gun deaths down. It's recommending state legislators start a statewide firearm safe storage initiative. Not only should it be locked, your ammunition should be stored somewhere else. We shouldn't be um, storing ammunition um, with the, the firearm. Let's let's not make it easy on children. Experts say solving this problem, it's twofold. Not only is it about properly storing guns, but also providing children with the right support at the right time. If we save one child with education, it saves a soul. A lot of people think that, well, it's not me, it's not my child. I'm not worried about it, but it is. One day it could be. Let's not wait too late. Let's be proactive. And experts say when kids turn to violence, there's usually years of other stressors or struggles, but they want to make sure that kids know there is support out there through parents, therapists, and the school systems. Reporting live outside of Uptown for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson.